Hi, my name is Sean Walker. I'm a Principal Emerging Practices Architect and part of the Ranger team here at ServiceNow. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the SaaS integration for Zoom. So some of the important documentation you're going to want to review is on the ServiceNow docs site. You have the integrating with Zoom uh, article and I've included a QR code here you can scan and that will take you directly to that particular article. Um, in there you're going to want to make sure you review what you want to do with the Zoom integration. Are you going to just download the subscriptions? Are you going to pull user activity? Or are you going to reclaim subscriptions? And you're going to want to know what you're doing um, before you do the integration. So when you're setting up everything within the Zoom portal, you apply the correct permissions to the application you're going to be creating. So review the table here, review what you want to do, and make sure you know which permissions or authentication scopes you're going to want to set. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to make sure is that the person doing the integration has a minimum of the SAM integrator or the SAM administrator role. I'm now going to jump into the Zoom portal and a Yokohama release of ServiceNow and show you how to do the integration. Okay, so I have logged into the um, Zoom app marketplace and I'm logged in under a developer account, which has permission to create applications. So now I'm gonna go through building an application for the ServiceNow integration. So the first thing I want to do is go to develop and build app. And from here, I'm going to be creating a general app because we're going to be doing an OAuth 2.0 um, integration. I'm going to click on create. And the first thing we're going to need to do is check to see how the uh, application is managed. So it's going to be admin managed. So admins can manage this particular account. And then we're going to hit save. So you'll see that what's already been created are the app credentials. And this is what you're going to need to do your integration within ServiceNow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these particular um, client ID and I'm going to copy the client secret so I can use them uh, later when I get to my instance. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, enter the redirect URL for your particular instance. So what you can do is paste this. I got this from the documentation, but I do need to change it and specify my particular instance um, that I am going to be redirecting to. So I'm gonna type this in. And from here, I'm going to also make sure that the allow list gets updated. Oh, I had a space. There we go. So my allow list has automatically been updated. If it hasn't, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your redirect um, URL is added to the allow list. So from here, I'm gonna to want to go over to scopes. And on the scopes pane, what we're gonna to want to do is we are gonna to want to add the scopes uh, very specific scopes based off of what we want to be able to do. So I'm going to copy and paste these scopes directly, um, sorry, directly from the documentation just to make it easier rather than having to type them all. So I can just paste them and just select them. I forgot to select that last one. Okay, so we have seven selected. That's how many I need. And we should see all of the scopes being added here. Okay, so all of the scopes are here. 
Everything looks good. And we are actually ready to go ahead and do the integration in the ServiceNow instance. Okay, so now I've logged into a ServiceNow instance with Sam on it. This is a Yokohama instance. So and I've navigated to the software asset workspace. So now I'm gonna create the Zoom integration profile within here. So I'm gonna to go to the license operations dashboard and come down into direct integration profiles. From here, I'm gonna select the new button and I'm gonna pick Zoom as the application profile. So I'm click on continue. And here's where I can put a name for my integration and this is going to help me easily identify what subscription is associated with what integration so i'm going to call this zoom demo integration and here's where i'm going to copy and paste the secrets that i did on the previous step uh, in from the zoom portal so there's a client id and then the client secret and my redirect URL is correct. And the analyze user activity from field. Now this is where you can change this to, I think, believe it's up to three months back. I'm just gonna go one month back because my portal didn't actually exist that long ago. So I just created this particular portal. So once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, sorry, I should also review the permissions. So depending on what you wanna do, whether you wanna trigger reclaims and whether you wanna download activity, um, you can enable these or disable these depending on what you choose to do within your organization. So I'm going to leave them all selected, which means the integration will be able to basically download the subscriptions, download the activity data, and reclaim subscriptions if I choose. I'm going to go ahead and click submit. And then we're going to go ahead and click on the get OAuth token. And here is where it's going to make me uh, log into my Zoom account. So I'm going to go ahead and put those credentials in. And once I put my permission credentials in, it's going to ask me if I want to give permission to this particular application. So I'm going to click on allow. And that is going to allow the integration within the Zoom portal. Uh, I can then click on the validate connection. And now that the validation is finished, I can go ahead and publish this. Now, please note I did pause the video during this validation steps because it did take a little while. So I can go ahead and click publish. And we should come back here. We should be able to see that now the Zoom integration has been published. And when I look at the particular uh, integration, I can see there's the two scheduled jobs. So I can either choose to wait until the scheduled jobs execute, or I can execute them manually by clicking on the, this one here, the refresh Zoom demo integration subscriptions and clicking on the execute now. And that's going to trigger the full download of all of the subscriptions into my instance. So if I come back into the Zoom integration profile, I can see the job results and I can see the one I just triggered here has run. And I can take a look. I do have one subscription that came in. And you can also see your subscriptions by coming into the license operations, user subscriptions, and I can see that I have the one subscription here. I only have the one subscription because my portal was just activated, but you're going to want to take a look at and make sure all of the subscriptions have been imported for your particular instance. So for more information on the Zoom integration, you can go to the ServiceNow documentation website and look for integrating with Zoom. I've included a QR code here for you. Uh, another article you can choose to review if you want to tell you a little bit more about SaaS subscriptions is an introduction to SaaS subscriptions and you can follow that QR code as well. Thank you for your time and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.